everyone patiently waiting for the biggest Roblox Doors update to come to the game. Featuring new rooms and even items, many within the community have suggested even more updates that the developers should try to add within the game. Well, unfortunately, many of these ideas have already been shot down, so these are updates that will never come to Doors. What would you like to see in the game? Let us know down below and let's get to it. Number 1. Hard Mode since the game has been out for nearly three months to this point, we've had plenty of time to play the game over and over again to the point where it's just becoming way too easy. Many players in the community have suggested the addition of a hardcore mode where the NTs would be harder and you'd have a harder time in order to progress through the hotel. But let me stop you right there. Olex, a Roblox YouTuber, actually posted the same idea right to the Roblox Doors official Twitter page, but they said this. Currently, we plan to have no selectable difficulty. Remember that the hotel is just the first floor. Upcoming floors will ramp up in difficulty. The developers even posted in the past, saying that they thought that the current difficulty of the game is perfect and making the entity spawning more frequent would just make things boring and exhausting. So it looks like we won't be able to see any major hardcore modes being added for this first floor or even for the game for the foreseeable future. But we do have good news. The door devs did say at the end that they will be adding in optional challenges, so though the difficulty wouldn't be extremely hard, these side challenges would act as nice little side quests in order to possibly gain free knobs or even revives from in the future. Number 2. VR Doors with the advances in gaming technology also comes with virtual reality which puts players right into the action of the game. Virtual reality and horror games though are definitely one of the scariest ways in order to experience the game and imagine doing so right within Roblox doors. Quite a bit of players have been requesting for a VR mode to be added within the game as it would not only just be interesting but it would make the game a lot more fun especially for those who have those headsets. But unfortunately, it got declined. The Doors devs did respond saying that VR support unfortunately takes too much time and effort as they don't really get anything out of adding it. They don't have any plans to support it anytime soon. RIP in the chat for all the VR players, though it might be possible to play Doors in VR via third party programs, so all hope is not lost. Number 3 Seasonal Updates Especially with Christmas right around the corner and currently within the holiday of Hanukkah as well, of course, the Roblox Doors community will be in a Christmas frenzy wanting the game to feature a more festive approach. Though most other Roblox games generally do follow this trend, I do have some coal to bring to the table. Redables, the co-developer for Doors, has confirmed that they will not currently be doing any seasonal events for the game, let alone Christmas. Though it sounds pretty rough, you do have to keep in mind that Doors is a horror game and that the developers are working hard within their Hotel Plus update and figured that a small Christmas update would slow their progress down significantly. This also means that we probably won't see any other seasonal themed updates as well in the future, but hopefully that could change. Number 4 Revive Updates Ever since the game introduced the concept of revives, this has made the game that much easier to play as all you have to do is press a button in order to get right back into the action with a second chance. Revives only work once per run though, and players have been asking for a revive system revamp in future updates. To no surprise, Rotobulus has stated multiple times that the game will not be adding in more than one revive per run as that would make the game way too easy, especially for people that have massive amounts of Robux. Essentially, it could turn the game into a paywall and nobody likes those types of games. The concept of renewable free revives was also brought up within the community as this means players would be granted a free revive every day or possibly 
possibly every week just for visiting the game. Though a daily item system would be cool to see in the game, especially for those who play often, it could also make the game just way too easy, but definitely could be something that could come in the future. Number 5, Fan-Made Entities. Yeah, we get it. We've seen several fan-made entities already within official Roblox Doors leaks and sneak peeks, such as Greed, Silence, and Depth, and though it's convincing to theorize that they have a decent shot to come to Doors in future updates, that is simply not the case. The Doors developers have routinely said in the past that they will not be adding in fan-made entities into their games as official entities. They are aware of them, and even some of the ones within the Doors Ideas Wiki page, which features tons of custom entities and items, but they simply won't appear here within the game other than as references and pictures, which honestly is still really cool. If you've made an awesome entity concept and if the Doors developers liked it so much, they could add it into the game as a painting. So whatever these new entities are, such as the grandfather clock one, it's still going to be a major mystery. Number 7, Select Settings. We have seen in the past that the Doors developers have leaked and shown a picture of their newly revamped settings panel allowing us to be able to change several parameters within the game. But there's also been several useful settings within the community that have been publicly declined. One of them do include an idea from Scoutman suggesting of an update for sound indicators for players who are deaf or can't play with any sound on. The Doors developers have responded to this saying that since some of the ambiance noises are made to trick players, like the fake screech, it would be impossible to add in a separate setting for this. Another major setting was also the field of view slider suggested by Doors discussions. And this could actually be a huge tool, especially if you want to experience Doors in a different perspective by changing the camera. Unfortunately though, they also said that they weren't able to add in a field of view setting as it's needed for entities such as eyes. Yeah, it would kind of break the game if you ran into eyes with those settings on. I do have to agree with that one. There was even a tweet mentioning about the voice chat, especially if there would be a volume slider specifically targeted for hearing others' voices in game. But again, that's on the Roblox side of things, and there's no settings that the developers could specifically do on their end of the spectrum. Though the new update is around the corner and people are excited about it, which would be an update that you'd add into the game? Let us know down below and happy holidays!